Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today we are going to discuss all about logs in SOAP UI. So we will see what are the different types of logs in SOAP UI and we will also see how can we see the SOAP UI and the error log files. So let's get started and let me open my SOAP UI. So the SOAP UI is up and I will just close this starter page and here if you go down and if you see here at the bottom you have these logs so you have soap ui logs so all the general logs of soap ui will be found here you also have http logs so whenever you run a request that has any http interactions all the http logs will be present here we have jetty logs error logs wsrm and memory logs so in soap ui in your regular working the most useful logs tab will be the SOAP UI logs and the error logs and also sometimes HTTP logs. So let us go to the project and if you go inside the project and if you go to test suites here again you can see the test suite logs here along with all these logs you have now a test suite specific log here. So when you will run this test suites from the project you will have a test suite log here you can clear the log you have options to set the maximum number of rows in the logs and in case you just want to log the errors you can select this log only it test steps errors in the log you also have an option to export the logs to a file so whenever you have some logs here you have the option to export it to a file if you go inside a test suite you again have the test suite logs option here so this is the same as we have seen at the project level and if you go inside the test case again you have the option for test case logs so all the test case logs will appear here and then if you go inside any test step so for example if you are going inside a soap or rest request here you will get a request log tab where you can see all the request related logs and then in case you want to go to any groovy script then of course we have the log output here where it will print out anything that you want to print on the console so these are different types of logs and then if you go to your soap ui installation directory so let me just minimize this and in my case i'm on windows so on windows soap ui is installed at c program files and go to smart peer and soap ui inside the soap ui folder you can go to your soap ui folder wherever it is located and inside this you have a folder called bin so if you go inside bin you will have a file called soap ui log and then you will have a file called soap ui error log so you can open this file into any of the text editor let me open it with notepad plus plus and you can see it has all the logs so whenever you want to do any troubleshooting or whenever you want to look at any information you can open this file so the logs in this file gets created uh, during the session of soap ui and you will find all the logs here and similarly for the errors specifically you have this file errors log and the same thing here you will find all the logs related to error so this will be very useful while you are working with soap ui and while you are troubleshooting your issues and also it is a very good practice while you are working with groovy scripts you can add some log informations or some log statements so that you can know what is happening at every step so these are the different types of logs in SOAP UI and they will be very useful while you want to troubleshoot or get some extra information about your tests. And that was all in today's brief session of SOAP UI. I hope this was useful for you. I will meet you in the next episode of SOAP UI. Thank you for watching.